Okay. So, I'm wrapping Christmas presents. And this has really been on my mind. So, I've been having car trouble. And I've been fixing my car. Now, mind you, um, like maybe two months ago, uh, my dad let us use his truck like because we had some place to do. Truck's already old. It's like a 20-year truck. So, whatever. And me, this is where I made the mistake because something was like, don't post this. But I'm like, it's not even that deep. So, um... And they're making a post with us on the way there talking about we ran out of gas, uh, but we got everything situated. Fast forward, my dad says, I messed up his fuel pump and I need to get a rental because I can't drive his car no more. I'm like, all right, bet. Thank you, God. I'm just happy I'm in a position to be able to do this because before I wasn't. So let me get a rental. Boom. Got a rental. They just got a car from the auction. Car don't work. Had to get a new battery. Car still don't work. Registered the car, paid however much you pay for the car, and the car don't work. So back when y'all got the car, you know, you was trying to fix like, oh, uh, whatever, whatever. But then that car stopped working. Your truck needed to get fixed. And then you guys were only down to one car. So the whole time you're down to one car, my mom can't take you to work. You're asking for rides because I had to get a rental. So I'm giving you a ride to work and shit. Because I'm like, and this is probably my lesson. Because I'm like, I would want somebody to do the same for me. But y'all keep proving that you don't do the same. You don't do the same. You don't feel the same. So now I got it. Fast forward. My truck is fixed. My truck is running fine. Their car isn't working. Like my truck was fixed probably for like two weeks. And during that two week time period, their truck isn't working. So, of course, like, I'm giving rides, like, it's not an issue, like, whatever, you know. Fast forward. <sighs> Fast forward. Oh, shit. My bad. So, my mom decides, like, what's she talking about? She comes and tells my boyfriend... She needs to be quarantined for two weeks. I mean, two days. And I'm like, and he tells me this. And I'm like, for what? And he's like, because of COVID. And I'm like, two days? The quarantine time ain't never been two days. So what the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> you mean two weeks? So I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, mind you, she knows she's supposed to be quarantined. She keep coming. Like, we live, the house, I'll say, is three levels. We live on the bottom. Like, it's our, like, our living area, the garage. See? <laughs> the whole living room that's a room that's a room and there's a bathroom down there so uh, whatever bathroom down there garage door stairs to go up to the living room and the front door and then some more stairs to go to the kitchen and the other rooms so, fast forward, she comes downstairs oh, and is um, telling my son he needs to wash dishes. And I'm like, wait a minute, Camden, because when I was trying to teach you to wash dishes and show you how to wash dishes last year, or earlier this year, she made it a point to be like, well, he can just put them in a dishwasher. You don't got to wash them by hand. They're not getting clean. There's food stuck on them, everything. So I'm like, 
all right, you got away. You want your dishes washed. You can wash the dishes. We'll wash the dishes that we use so that way it won't be no issues. This is what's been going on. So yesterday, she's like trying to tell Camden to wash the dishes, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, no. <laughs> she's like, I'll run the dishwasher and then you can just wash them. So I'm like, we'll just put them in the dishwasher. Because that's what she was saying anyway. So just put them in the dishwasher. So I'm outside smoking. She comes there. Well, why are you telling Camden he doesn't have to listen to what I say? I said, I'm not telling him he don't have to listen to what you say. I didn't tell him he don't have to wash the dishes. I said, put them in the dishwasher since that's what you want him to do. You made it very clear that you want the dishes to go in the dishwasher. Mind you, these not our dishes. The kitchen been dirty for two weeks. But we don't go up there. Like, got a little portable, um, like, little stove thing so we can cook down here. There's a sink so we can wash dishes down here. We don't have to go up there at all. Mind you, if we were living, like, and you weren't my the person who gave birth to me as a landlord, you wouldn't be up here. Like, you wouldn't just be coming up and down willy-nilly. You wouldn't be trying to have my kid wash your dishes. You wouldn't be trying to have my kid take your trash out, refill your water, like none of that. So you can't play landlord when you want, when it's time to collect. And then you're trying to be grandma the other time, grandpa the other time. So anyway, I'm like, you told him, don't wash the dishes. You told him to put them in the whatever. So I'm like, you know what, <laughs> whatever. She brings Camden up there and I'm like, okay, fine, Camden. Put those dishes in a dishwasher, the dishes, and I'll wash the pots. And and it's taken care of, and that's just that. She has an attitude, washes all the dishes. Which is what you should have did in the first fucking place, because they're your dishes. If you can stand up there and make dishwater, and you can come down here and give people orders and tell people what to do, you can clean your fucking house yourself. So ends up mad attitude whatever washes the dishes puts them away and that's that <sighs> fast forward um so yeah i was talking about the car so that happened yesterday and then she's also telling my boyfriend like well um i'm gonna bring the kids gifts in here um when y'all gonna put the tree up because y'all can wrap them i'm not gonna wrap them what you finna, you're gonna, you got them stuff, but you're not gonna wrap it. And you're delegating it to us. This is your fucking problem. <laughs> They're not gonna get wrapped. Because that's not how you ask anybody to do anything. And you're not gonna just tell us what we're about to do. And you're not getting that. So then that happened. Fast forward. This morning, I get a text from my dad. Um... Okay, so with the fuel pump and having to get the hoses and him looking at your car and the radiator and blah, 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 that came up to $500. And then you guys have $500 for rent, so it's $1,000. And I'm like, mind you, they've been driving this truck for like two weeks now. So I'm like, did you just find out how much this shit costs? Because we just got into it about y'all deciding to buy Camden a tablet and then telling me I have to give you the money for it. Instead of saying, hey, I found this tablet. Do you want to get it for him? I can get it. We can work something out. You just went ahead and did it. So during that argument, I'm like, don't I still have to pay for your truck? Don't I still have to pay for whatever? So when did you find out how much this costs? Because now it seems like y'all got an attitude because Camden didn't wash the dishes yesterday and now you're trying to break my pockets for fucking money that you think I have to give to you. And that's where I got an attitude. Because, okay, fine. We don't fuck with each other, fine. You don't like my boyfriend, fine. Your in-laws don't like you. So that's not a big deal. But with, like, to be manipulative and sneaky and just only give a fuck when you feel like it that's the part that I can't get with and that's the part that really upsets me because y'all know what y'all doing and you're being sneaky and manipulative so when you tell your side of the story 
it'll get people on your side like, oh, well, yeah, you know, yeah. But you're not telling the whole story. And I feel like, you know what, at the end of the day, you can tell your story however you want to. You can make me seem like however you want to. But God sees all of this. And it's funny how all of a sudden, you know, y'all trying to shit on me. Y'all trying to take all of my money. But now you're sick. You've been sick for two weeks. You already got a car that don't work. You on your way. I feel like you're on your way to the two cars you got not working because you keep fucking with me. And what you don't un and you don't understand that you can't keep fucking with me because I'm not the same person. Cause you've been doing this my whole life. Both of y'all been doing this my whole life. But what you're failing to realize is that now I know who I am. I'm in my power. So when you're fucking with me, I'm talking to God about it. God sees you fucking with me. And in turn, I'm sending all this negative energy back, all the negativity back. And it's going back to you. Everything that you're trying to wish on me, everything like while you're trying to degrade me and watch me fall, it's going to turn around back on you. Because what you don't realize, because stepdad, you don't have children. Person who gave me birth, you only have one child and you don't get the concept. Y'all are wishing bad on me as if it's not going to affect my children. And every time I get up from being knocked down, that's just showing my kids. God is more powerful than anybody, even your parent, even the person who raised you. So keep it up. Because I'm not going to feel bad when I leave, when I take my family, when we're doing better. And I don't want anything to do with you. I'm not going to feel bad when I don't let my children have anything to do with you. Because y'all, you made sure that the relationship was like this. You made sure. And now all I can do is follow through. Because I'm not extending any courteousness. I'm not extending any olive branches. I'm not taking any olive branches. Because this is what you do. You play nice. Then you get in your feelings. Then you feel like you can shit on me and treat me any kind of way until you and your wife or you and your husband stop talking. Then you want to come down here and be all in the kid's face. And because I'm not talking to you, person who gave birth to me, you want to talk to my boyfriend. You want to talk to the kids. And because I'm not talking to you, stepdad, or I don't have anything to say, the conversation is short because I see you and what you're doing. Now, all of a sudden, oh, friendly, friendly, friendly. When it was just, oh, Papa, sick, y'all can't come up there. This was going on for like a week, <laughs> a week and a half now. Oh, Papa, sick, you can't come up there. Oh, so when y'all don't want to be bothered with kids, all of a sudden you're sick. But then when you do want to be bothered, you're trying to come down here and wake kids up, um, make them go to sleep because you want to cuddle with them. And like, like no. All that shit is out. And you know what? The only thing I can say is thank you for showing me your true colors. Because when I start treating you accordingly, I'm not going to feel bad about it. Because y'all been shitting on me your whole life. And you got people thinking you're such good parents. You know, I should be so lucky. Blah, 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 blah. Like, no. You're manipulative. You're liars. You're sneaky. And you're narcissists. And I see you now. I see you for who you are. And that shit stops here. I'm not even finna let you get me mad. I'm not finna let you take me out of character. Because I know I know what this is. It's a test. It's a test. And all the other tests haven't been working. And usually I do get riled up like, you know, with my parents and shit. But this isn't working either because I see you. Just like I see all those other people out there. Everybody. My sister, for example, <laughs> told her I'm supposed to be in her wedding. She asked me to be in her wedding, asked my daughter to be the flower girl. I'm like, okay, cool. Told her I was pregnant. She kicked me out the wedding because she has a certain aesthetic <laughs> that she's going for. Mind you, when I think of aesthetic, I mean how you look physically. So even with my baby bump, <laughs> I probably would still be the smallest person in her wedding, second to smallest person. But I'm like, you know what? Cool. That just shows me we're not sisters. 
we're not friends and you don't give a shit. <laughs> so no, I'm not coming to your wedding. No, I'm not coming to your bachelorette party. No, I'm not coming to your bridal party. I don't give a shit. Because you, that right there, just let me know. Because I don't, we don't have the relationship that I thought we had. And I'm okay with that. And to be honest, I have been thinking that already. But this just, like, finally showed me. Because there's times I invite you to lunch, you can't go. I invite you to dinner, you can't go. You have Christmas parties. You have um, celebrations for your birthday. I don't get an invite. And, and okay, let's be honest. I'd say maybe about four or five years ago, she did used to invite me. But, shit, times was hard. I didn't have a car. I live all the way on the other side of town. I can't get there. So, no, I'm sorry. I can't come. But it's still nice to be invited. But that stopped. So, I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. <laughs> we aren't close. We already haven't. We don't talk. You haven't seen your latest nephew since he was born. He's almost nine months now. But it's like you make time for other stuff. So I had to see. I'm the person who keeps letting this go on. Like, y'all just doing what y'all normally do. Y'all just treating me how you would normally been treating me. Except I'm not trying to see the good in you no more. I don't give a fuck. You are who you are. You show me who you are. And now I'm going to treat you accordingly. And that's just it. Like it. Don't like it. I don't give a fuck. But it ain't my issue. So I just... I really can't believe that. You finna, you send me a text talking about, I got to give you $1,000. If y'all don't eat a dick. <laughs> like, man. <laughs> yeah, y'all probably think like this is how my life's going to be. But even still, like, this ain't it. This is just this last chapter closing. Everything from fucking birth up until now till 2021 like this chapter is closing none of that shit's happening none of that shit's coming along and i'm fine with that i hope you are well shit i don't give a fuck if you're fine with it or not nigga this is my life and i'm doing what's best for me i'm not putting your anybody else's feelings above mine aside from my children but all you other regular motherfuckers out here no fuck y'all I don't give two shits. I just really had to get that off my chest because whew, I almost got upset. 